Hi guys, it's Mel here from Mel W Scrapping. Um, I'm about to bring uh, do a layout for you guys today for Scrapper Sketch. Um, it is sketch number 129 uh, for Friday night. Um, and I will pop Lisa's sketch up in the left hand corner. Um, I have cut all my paper to size ready and rearing. And I want to get into the mixed media part first because on her sketch it looks like there's packaging technique. So first of all, I really don't know how these colours are going to go together, but we're soon going to find out. Um, I'm going the green, which is Lucky Clover, Distress Ink Lucky Clover. Um, water, I mean this is water. And I'm going to go on with one side of the cling wrap, because that way I've got more control over... Uh, where I'm, I want some of that green to come out down there, and up there. We go a little bit more. All right. Probably going overboard with the mixed media, but I kind of like it. I'm not using a stencil today. I'm just going packaging technique. Right. And then I kind of need to clean that side. Get it off a little bit. And then on the other side, we'll go turn it over and put the in lid back on that. And we're going to go red. So a lumberjack plaid. Is my go to. Right. I only want like this. I'm going down here. Yeah. I need some more red. Give me some more red. Some of that might be hidden actually. Come on there. Right, that'll do. Clean that off. Right. Give that a dry. Bear with me. Okay, let's get sticking down. And you'll notice I've only gone in this area. I've left this side. Wet with a bit of bits and pieces on it. Right. Take the double sided tape off. Come on, fingers. Pay attention and do what you're meant to do. Okay. So I've cut this. I'm using the printables range of. Uh, pattern paper which is love to love you and shades of midnight and the embellishments oh no love you more not love to love you why have I got that down there love you love you more um and I'm gonna use those embellishments so I love this colour and it went well with that Lucky Clover ink colour. I'm going to go there. Hopefully I can get some of these pencil up. Where the ink is, I'm not going to be able to. This doesn't like to come off after the ink has gone on. Anyway, so there's that bit. Now, let's just put this bit on. This is part of the Shades of Midnight out of the black and white range. Just gonna go there like so. 
so. Bottom. Top. Needle. So I haven't got these on yet. Found a photo of my husband having that, you know, cheeky, smirky smile again. This is back ages and ages ago, probably 2015. Write that down so I can put that on the back. I got a new camera and I was testing it out and he smiled twice. Cheeky smiles. Okay. So, and it's a bit yellowish because I didn't really know what I was doing with my camera at that stage. This piece of cardstock here is actually the packaging of a stencil. Um, that's the only thing different in here that's not to scrap a sketch apart from my cardstock. I um, fussy cut these um, embellishments out last night. I did another set out a couple of nights ago. And I'll try and get another lot done tonight. I put double sided tape on the back of everything and just didn't put it together. So every Friday night, um, Lisa releases a free sketch for everyone to have a go at. And the creative team take it in turns to you know, have a go at um, what she's... We, we, we do inspiration um, layouts for it. Um, and I actually asked to do this one. Because it had mixed media in the background. I like mixed media. What can I say? Never used to. Now I love it. Could be addicted. That's me being a typical Aussie. Oh, that was on a tape. Be good. Right, so I'm going to go about that. Right, at the bottom. I probably shouldn't have stuck it down yet, but I kind of know needed to know where it was going. Now, that and that goes this way. I am going the top, so I'm going to go there like that. One can be at the bottom, put this one at the top. And then this one goes a different way. So the printable range is um, something that you can um, go in and purchase. And then you print them off at home. Um, and then you've got them. You can print them as many times as you like. I'm going to go over there like that. Same with this side. Down the bottom. I say side, down the bottom. And I did these bits with scraps from that bit, as you can tell. Try and... There we go. I'm not perfect with my lining ups. It's rough. Now, my title. I don't want to go over those papers there.
I might put my title in a different place. I could just go be my Valentine. <laughs> right, let's have a look at what we've got in here. I've got hearts, that's pretty. So I'm going to go up in this corner. That goes with it well. I know I've got a penguin here somewhere. I'm going to use my penguin. I'll go down in this corner. Another lot of pretty sure I had kind of like that. And another heart. Oh, let's not go that. I found one that I know my daughter told me I needed to use. Love of my life. That's off the printable embellishment sheet. So let's use that one. And let's put that half on the... I like that. Love of my life. Beautiful. We'll go the flowers down. I don't like that there. We'll use that one. Could probably use. Nope. Let's go like that. There. That I put my heart roll there. It's looking at me. Let's stick that up on foam. So, I'll go like that. And then, for down in this corner, I'm going to go this embellishment cluster of flowers. Gonna put there. Well, is there anything looking at me? The green circle. Come through all these, just seeing if I can see it. Oh, I do like that. I'll trust it to fly out of my hands. We go like that. And our penguin. Cute little penguin. Up on foam tape. And I wanted 
to do, if I can find them, threads, Oh, look at that. Let's stick the camera on there. I'm always taking photos of them. Either him or Janina. Or he's taking really terrible photos of himself and sending them to me. I don't know where I put those. Where's the green? Where did I put them there? I'm just going to go. I'm adding a little bit extra to my sketch. <clears throat> put that all the way after. I am going to go on with some little banners off the embellishment sheet at the top. Just to finish it off. That's just me. And then I'll finish it completely off with some... Oh, I'll probably get my head in the shot. Sorry, everyone. Let's just turn it around so you can actually see, silly woman. All right, go to the top. I'm going to put a little bit of space in between. I'm going to go like that. Just to finish it off. I really do like how that looks. Right, now let's get some Nouveau drops. I think we... That looks like pink red. Go red. Actually, we're going to be naughty and we're going to go black. Well, not naughty, but we're going to go black, I think, is going to make it look more effective. Let's see if it'll squeeze out. Yes, it will. Go one. Oh, whoops. And I knew I'd do that. So I don't put any more on. Right. Now. The only other thing I'm going to do. I hadn't really thought of the colour until now. But. Now that I've made that slight little mistake, I've got some Kaser Mist Black Iridescent Spray. I don't spray, I don't know how it's going to go because it is getting old and very. Oh no, it's coming out alright. Gluggy. Oh, Do some splatters like that dust on the where I've done the mixed media part. And we'll go with that red. It's a couple of different areas. On that one. I'll come over here with some red. Try and cover up my mess that I just made. And then I'll go like that. Just to be different. Right, now I'm not going to touch that layer again. <coughs> okay, make sure it's in screenshot for you. I'll take some close up photos um at the end for you 
Uh, but this is my take on this week's um, sketch for Friday night. Um, if you think you might like to have a go, please, by all means, press pause, take a screenshot and have a go. Um, and at the same time, if you do like what I've come up with, if you could give me a thumbs up, that would be really appreciated. Thank you so very much. I will pop down below on the in the description box the Facebook group to scrap a sketch, the website to scrap a sketch so that you can check out the printable range, printables ranges, there's lots of them now. Um, and I will pop the ones that I've used down below in the description box. And um, Lisa also has premium sketches that you can subscribe to and get five exclusive sketches each month as well as she has a new digital book out with exclusive sketches in them so check that out um thank you everyone for watching i appreciate you all for being here check out the facebook group come and have some fun with us um and see you in the next video thank you for watching everyone thank you to all my subscribers if you're new to my channel I hope I've done enough for you to consider subscribing tonight. Um, stay safe, stay warm, stay cool, and happy scrapping. Bye for now. Mm -hmm.